Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today we are replacing our sway bar end links and they are on the front of the car. And the reason that we're gonna be doing this is because they're making kind of a front end clacking noise. I'm gonna go ahead and play a clip real quick and whenever there's a color on the screen, it's gonna coincide with the noise that I'm hearing. So, here goes. So that sound you're hearing is coming from the front end somewhere in here. All the suspension components lie within here. In a minute, I'm going to take this wheel off and I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. However, these are the replacement parts. So this right here is a sway bar end link for the front or a stabilizer bar link, depending on how you want to call it. But I have these from Rock Auto, um, premium quality. This is from Moog. So we'll see how this goes. And without further ado, let's get into how to replace these and what goes bad on them. Just to heads up, the tools you will be needing for this job are an 18 millimeter wrench, a eight millimeter wrench for the back sides of the old uh, sway bar links right there. The adjustable wrench is just because I don't have a second 18 millimeter fixed wrench and it helps me get the new ones on. An 18 millimeter socket, a socket extension, a ratchet, and then a grease gun if you have greasable bearings, which I do, so I needed it. All right, so now that we got the wheel off, I'm showing you exactly what I'm talking about. So this right here is our sway bar end link. This down here is the sway bar, and it runs up across the other side. And the idea is when the car rolls, this side will go up, the other side will go down, and vice versa, and we'll keep the car stable. And this is our link, and this is our strut connection up here. So, as you can see, I can move that with my hand relatively easily, like it's not, not even difficult. That's pretty loose, and it's usually a pretty good sign that they're going out. These look stock, so the new ones have nice grease bearings in there. So this should be a pretty easy upgrade. But pretty much, just so you guys are aware, pretty easy. One bolt here, one bolt on the back side on the other side. And then on the new ones, and I'm really hoping the old ones are like this, you can see they have this nice little area where you can put some kind of a wrench on there. And this way you can hold the back side still while you tighten on the front because this will free spin inside that bearing. But without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the time lapse and we're gonna go ahead and install this. So here goes nothing. Alrighty, so as you can see, this just came out and it's pretty worn. It's so like this side moves around pretty easily, but it still seems a little tight. This one, however, is, is pretty loose. I don't know if you can see that. The rubber is able to move it around really easily. And that's probably, I'm hoping that's the source of our clacking. Gotta do the same thing on the other side. Pro tip, make sure you jack up both sides of the vehicle because otherwise you do one side, I learned this last time, the sway bar will put way too much tension on one, or, one side of this or the other and it'll make it really difficult to get it off. But compared to the new one, as you can see, there are two parts right there. And this one is much more difficult to move around, which is good. That means our bearing is nice and good. So I'm gonna go ahead and grease these both up real quick just to make sure that they're good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and install them and you will be seeing that momentarily. All right, guys, so as you can see, the new one is now installed and looking good. I didn't even notice it before, but like, check out how much beefier that new one is compared to the old one right there. That's pretty, pretty significant difference. I'm gonna go and knock out the other side, and then we're gonna go ahead and take a test drive. Well, put, knock out the other side, put everything together, take a test drive, and hopefully that eliminated our issues. 
So this did not fix my issue, unfortunately. Um, I'm still getting that weird, like, loose, clackety sound going on that you, heard, that you heard earlier. But hopefully this is still a useful guide to how to replace your sway bar end links. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the description down below. I'll be sure to get back to you on that. And have a great day. Uh, if you are enjoying what you see, feel free to subscribe. Um, if you have any video ideas, let me know. If you want to see anything with the GT500 or the truck, um, let me know. First truck video dropped yesterday. I always did pretty poorly because this is kind of a car channel, so hopefully it'll get some traction in the near future, though. Anyways, have a good one. I'll see you all later.